cool oh my god I just want to say first thing right I am like I am I am like I am B-Men and I've been B-Men since it happened yeah but I hit 20,000 subscribers yes oh my god I can't believe I hit 20,000 what the and when I looked at my phone before I came on, I'm actually 20,848 subscribers. It is insane. It is insane. In the three days I've had almost, or is it four days, I've had like 1,500 subscribers. People saying that I am their vibe because I called Ahsoka a dickhead. <laughs> that made me laugh. She's always been called a dickhead, eh? Uh, Roxy, Roxy's being a bigger dickhead. Ahsoka's little dickhead. And then the kids get called dickheads as well. If I call you a dickhead, it's a compliment. It means I love you. It's really weird. It's my brain. I'm just strange, but she is a dickhead. They're just all dickheads. Anyway, today is about Conquest Journal. Now I have this box a few days before Christmas Day. Um, however, I haven't been able to do it until now, but I'm very excited to get it because, or excited to open it. I opened the bottom because I couldn't open the top because there were sticky things all over it. So I've opened it upside down. So if you've put anything in there for me to read, I'll have to do it at the end, yeah? Yeah? So Conquest Journals are a company in America. They are absolutely incredible. They do a lot of officially licensed Harry Potter to merchandise as well as other franchises included super included included including supernatural yeah so uh, supernatural was released a few years ago i think they did send me almost their entire collection of supernatural items so if you want to have a look at what they sell then check out the link above because it will be there is it that side that side that side anyway <laughs> I did my lights yesterday, right, on my Disney shelf. Um, I don't know if I can show you quickly. Let me, let me turn round. This is a rare occurrence, isn't it? You'll see uh, Annabelle just there sneaking through. But I have beautiful Disney shelves um, that I will have to show you guys properly when the lights are all done. Because I am a big Disney fan as well. Obviously not as big as Harry Potter, but Disney for me is a huge thing. I'm I'm obsessed. I've been obsessed since I think 1990 when I first saw my fir my very first Disney film, and uh, it was Beauty and the Beast. And Beauty and the Beast was everything to me, and she still is. Belle is still my girl. You know, you're still my girl, Belle. I'm saying that because she's. I've got like shelves dedicated to Belle behind. I love her so much. Same as Elsa and Rapunzel from Tangled as well. They are my girls, I love them. Oh yeah, there's another shelf up there <laughs> dedicated to Beauty and the Beast as well, oh my God. So I will be showing you them in more depth when I get the rest of the lights set up. The holes are all in place, I'm just waiting for the lights to arrive. I finally found somewhere. Because Ikea, right, I did these shelves. Oh my God, when did I do these shelves? Was it four years ago? Four, is it four years ago? Yeah, four years this year, I think it is. So I did these shelves four years ago and Ikea, everything's from Ikea, except the paint, everything's from Ikea, the shelves, the lights, everything. And the shelves that my wands are on as well. But Ikea, even though they still do the shelves, they don't do the wands. And they don't do just the wands. They don't do the shelf the wands are on, that's what I meant. But they also don't do the lights either. They sell them, right, one light, okay? Pack of one one when you've got 15 shelves you need to light up you can't have 15 freaking plugs so i went on amazon i'll put the link down below but i went on amazon and i found these lights puck lights they're called puck led lights white ones these are they look brighter because the shelves aren't painted yet um but they are 24.99 for a set of six and it's six with just one freaking plug. So I only need another set of six and another set of three and I'm done. I've done my lights and then I've got to figure out that shelf there with all my Weasley Wizard Wheezes and my, a few lounge fly bags. I'm not gonna bother with those shelves because they're books and DVDs. However, I think I will light up the top shelf because that is my Bradford Exchange, Harry Potter, Hogwarts scene. So I do love that. So I will be showing you all of them. I've actually been sorting out my Harry Potter room. So as you can see, I've also been putting my candles. You can't really see it very well. How, how am I gonna, there we are. It's because I'm doing it all backwards. It's like, mm -hmm. um, but I'm doing it backwards. Like, so I'm trying to be, so I put my candles in my Borgen and Burke's cabinet. 
So that's my Borgen and Burke's cabinet. If you want to see better videos, then go on my Instagram or my TikTok. They're all on there. Ignore the table. The table is still a mess because I'm still sorting through my Harry Potter room. I also have a little tiny Hogwarts Legacy display there as well, which I am trying to kind of ex expand and put there as well. So Hogwarts Legacy is like the most amazing game ever. I'm obsessed with it. It is just awesome. So I've got, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I've got 12. 12 80 litre boxes in the shed or say the shed is some studio um full of things that were in this room including two boxes full of lounge fly bags um because i think i've i think me and monica counted about 60 lounge fly bags i've got now so i need to try and slow down with the lounge fly they've got to stop producing really nice ones because i can't stop but i can't keep buying them you gotta just stop please yeah just just give me a break for like a year yeah because it's not just harry potter it's disney as well i buy lounge fly bag wise um, only a couple but I do love uh, I, I do love Disney um, so today as I said is conquest journals um, I have been nagging them I say nagging um, she's been forgetting blessed to send me the box so I was like hi honey is there any news on the box because I am so obsessed with conquest journals they did I'm not sure what I've done with it I think it might be down there but it's behind the two Annabelle so I've got an official Annabelle doll I'm giving you like a life story now you know uh, of the last couple of uh, days so I've got a replica Annabelle doll which obviously you guys have I've showed you I think already if not you'll have to wait till Halloween but I also bought a replica Annabelle doll from the original Annabelle as in the one that actually is in the glass cabinet um, at the Warrens Museum um, the Raggedy Ann doll is a woman on eBay that actually creates them she was only cheap she wasn't expensive but she's a full-size replica and so I have the two and Monica right Monica my baby girl yeah says she's more scared of the Raggedy Ann doll replica than the actual Annabelle from the film I think that one looks cute. She, you're not seeing it till I'll do a whole Halloween thing, right? Because I'm dressing up this area. I'm not saying any more. But let's just say, if we have trick-or-treaters, they'll be scared before they even come to the door. Because <laughs> I'm going to have a field day. I love Halloween. It's like the best time ever. Um, so, right, I'm going to shut up now. Well, I'm not going to shut up, because that's where you watch it. Because I am an idiot. The dickheads haven't started scratching at the door yet, so she hasn't realised I'm started filming. She will do, and then she'll come. She's had her food, so she might actually just be like, you know, be in a food coma where they just fall asleep and sleep after having food. Um, right, so I'm, I haven't, I literally haven't opened this properly. I just opened it enough for me to see that it was definitely from Conquest Journal in America. So I will try and put the... Oh, it's cardboard spaghetti. I will try and put the link down below. However, this is mostly for the American audience, okay? Because my my channel is more popular in America. Whether it's the British accent, I don't know. Um, maybe it's because I'm an idiot, I don't know. But you guys in America seem to like me more over there. So <laughs> thanks, British guys. Yeah, I love you too. Anyway, so I'm going to get in. I'm going to take the cardboard spaghetti out. I've just hoovered this carpet just hoovered it yeah just hoovered it yeah so i will have to hoover it again i do like cardboard spaghetti oh, no freaking way i have been nagging for this for freaking ages because she keeps putting it on her instagram and I keep wanting, now this isn't the top, I'm looking at the bottom, but I know full well, I think I know full well what this is. I'm not going to look at it, I'm going to let you guys see it first. That's how it works on my channel. If I can, I will show you guys first. Luckily, everything is upside down. So I actually opened this box perfectly. So let me show you the, let me take it out of the packaging, because I don't like the glare from my cameras, on my, my glare, no, glare from my light and my multiple lights on my shelves at the moment. I tell you who is obsessed with Conquest Journal is my manager, Natalie. She absolutely loves their work because they are the best. I mean, who doesn't in the Harry Potter world love stationery? We all love stationery and notebooks and Conquest Journals are the best at it. So here we are. Oh, it is the one. It is the one. Yay. Oh my God. Look at that. Ah! Let me put the box down because this is just, this is a proper hallelujah moment this is. I bloody love this. So this is a Harry Potter 2024. How perfect. Today is the 10th of January. We are just in 2024. So I get to use it to trade away. Um, maybe I can do all like my YouTube flan flan flanning. What the hell? 
So for those of you who are new, okay, I don't realise, but I actually do say a lot of things wrong, like discount toads instead of discount codes, yeah? So you'll get used to it, you'll get used to it. I'm sure there's many other people that can tell you all about the stuff that I do um, in the comments below. So this is 24, 2024 Herbology Planner. So we are perfect, we were in uh, 2024. Now, in case you didn't realize it was New Year's Day a couple of days ago, I love anything to do with mandrakes at the moment. Mandrakes are very much in fashion when it comes to the Harry Potter world, or at least they, they were towards the end of 2023. The dickhead is outside the door, but she hasn't started scratching yet. So this is absolutely stunning. I love what they do. Now, the one thing about, I will put my glasses on because I am blind as a bat. So the one thing about Conquest Journals is they are not only, here we are. <gasps> you took your sweet time, didn't you? Come on, hmm? Worried you were gonna miss out, did you? She's in, the dickhead is in. So the one thing about, don't start rubbing yourself on the camera because it's gonna make everything jerk. Although that never stops you when I tell you off, so what's the point? What you doing? <gasps> what's that? What is it? What is it? What is this? What is that? Oh, she's got new toys to play with. So the one thing about Conquest Journals is they are a huge fan of Harry Potter and they do their proper research when it comes to creating items. So you, if you look at the books, everything is done a certain way and they really do concentrate on the smallest details. They are meticulous in the way they design items. So all of these are beautiful. So time to plan. So I could literally use this, right? Yearly goals, you know, silver play button from YouTube, yeah? That'd be great. Um, and I'm getting there. <laughs> if my channel's growing as fast as it is at the moment, it's getting there. So the one thing about them is they are fantastic and they are meticulous in what they design. So I love this. So this is obviously, this is January. And then we'll open January and then we'll go through a couple of others. Look at this though. How beautiful is that? And then we'll go to, let's go to my birthday, March. Let's have a look in March. What's March like? Oh, Gillyweed. My birthday showing is, is represented by Gillyweed. Let's go to Mo Monica's birthday. So Monica is represented by Felix Felicis. Did you mind? I'm trying to film. Ahsoka. And then we've got November, which is represented by Ul Ulspain. Ulspain. And then we have December, Incendio. Now, normally they have stickers and stuff on the back of these. Have they got them? Yes, they do. So they like to also include a load of stickers for you to use in your designing, in your little kind of, you know, mischief managed. Well, normally when my cat's been an idiot, I've got a little man, we got, she's properly rubbing herself all over this cat, this camera stand. We've got mandrakes, golden snitches. We've got two different types of mandrakes. It looks like we've got mature and then young. And then we have Felix Felicis, we've got a stack of books, we've got Harry's glasses, and then we've got to-do lists, birthday stickers as well. So there's loads of little stickers and there's an area for you to pop some documents if you need to. So you've got loads of little things there for this stunning, absolutely stunning Mandrake Yearly Planner. So absolutely love that so much. Witchcraft and Wizardry. Neville Tick, Neville? Neville, see there was another one. Never tickle a sleeping dragon, which is what the Hogwarts logo means. It is absolutely beautiful. So that is the first item and I'm 18 minutes in because of my idiot cat. What? There she is, it's my baby who's more nosy than the post office. So the next item I am not going to look at, you guys are looking at it first. Let's see, what is this? So we have Hogwarts Express on the front there. And it says Hogwarts Express notebook. So this is a normal note. Oh, it's nice and thick though. A normal notebook, very, very lovely. And you can see down the bottom there that it's the Hogwarts Express going over the Glenfin and Viaduct as it is on the front cover when you open it fully as well so you've got that that train journey was actually stopped for a little while 
they were worried that there wouldn't it wouldn't reopen the Glenfin and viaduct train journey because that was what we wanted to do this year for our birthdays because it's in scotland and you when you get on you get on the train from what i can remember reading from the train station that actually played hogsmeade train station and then obviously it takes you up to so far and then back again so it's like a return journey so i would love to do that but it's getting there and back to the train station and back that's going to be the, the expensive part i think because it is a long way from here but i still really want to do it and i it sounds like they have reinstated the train again i think if they cancelled it i think so many people would be devastated but it was due to safety concerns apparently over the bridge or something so hopefully that won't be the case and it'll all be sorted but we shall see so on the back of this london to king's cross i like that the only thing i'm not too keen on is that it does feel like it's been it's just been laminated like it's a notebook that's just been laminated you know the front and the back have been laminated with the laminating sheets so that's the only thing i don't quite like about it is it doesn't that doesn't feel brilliant the art of it is beautiful but i'm not too keen on the actual plasticky because i do a lot of laminating in my job and so that's what that feels like but i would definitely use that notebook in fact i'd more likely to use that notebook now than i would any other notebook that i've got it's a it's a very thick one mind there's loads of pages in it so it's it's gonna last you quite a while 200 page lined notebook so that's very nice but yes i would i'm not too keen on the plasticky top at the front and the back so the next thing we have is waterproof decals or vinyls so is that butter beer there on the front of that so oh wow okay butter beer themed decals set of 40 let's have a look oh it's the new design as well so i wouldn't be sure i don't wouldn't know what to do with these other than maybe put them on your own cups or something or beakers or because they feel like they'd be removable so there's them ones and then there is these ones that's the other decal or other vinyl sticker so that's quite nice i wouldn't know what to do with them but i would i if i was going to do anything so if like uh, for example if you're creating your own um butterbeer shelf for or you've got some brown bottles that you want to kind of do a little display for butterbeer because they did release and i loved them i haven't used them yet but they are in my they are in my boxes ready to be used they produced uh, potion bottle labels, obviously officially licensed ones, and they were all like screen accurate. Majority of them were screen accurate. What I loved about them is that you could create your own potion bottles and you had your ready-made labels all ready to go. So that's perfect. So if you were to create like a potion, like a, a butterbeer shelf or, because I know a few of my friends like Marie, um, Marie York's got her own butterbeer area. Janice has got her butterbeer area. So if I was to do that then, you've got your newly kind of displayed butterbeer vinyl stickers there ready to go. So I don't know how much they are. I will put the links, as many links I can find down below for for you um, but these are gold foil 40 gold foil decals so i think they are for something like props or doing a display they are perfect absolutely perfect to do and that's exactly what i would use them for so we've got another item i think it's upside down because i can see the reflection to do with herbology so let's open it so what is this what can you see that i can't there's a there's a flap that opens okay so let's have a look so this is 2024 hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry herbology so it's a notebook so this is actually a small planner so this is a medium planner so so if you're traveling and you need to like write down all your details or your your meetings every day or even your classes or your college classes whatever you you need to jot down it's small enough for you to keep in your bag as well so you've got a little kind of bookmarky area here that's part of it that obviously is around it goes in the front sorry my mistake and then that then could be used for you to be able to put a, a little note into the area whatever day it is and then that then is there ready for you to look in your diary a little diary 
and write down and look at what your appointments are. So you've got a whole calendar with already noted items in there, obviously from the, it looks like the American calendar, which is fair enough. You've got things like Suicide Prevention Month, National Grandparents Day, the Phoenix, the, sorry, the Prophet's Birthday, Constitution Day, and, uh, and Citizenship Day. So you've got all of those for September. So at the beginning of each month, you have a little diary for anything that would be in your calendar in America, perhaps. So that's really, really cool. I like that because I never remember anything, unless it's to do with Harry Potter. Pfft, no, I, and even then I have to put it on my phone. So we've got, oh, we've got holidays. That's really cool. So we've got each each character's birthday listed there as well. I love that. See, this is what I mean. It's like the little details that they've gone through to pop these holidays in. So you've got things like, obviously, New Year's Day. You've got Martin Luther King's birthday. Uh, Severus Snape's birthday, which was yesterday. Happy birthday, Snape. Gilderoy Lockhart's birthday, the 26th of January. Arthur Weasley's birthday, the 6th of February. Lunar New Year, 10th of February. So we've got some really kind of really important days, but obviously incredibly important to the Harry Potter community, without a doubt. Flag Day. Father's Day, for, uh, uh, June, Juneteenth, uh, Summer Solstice. So we've got all sorts of days listed there. So that's what I love is they've gone through and they've made notes of everybody's birthday in the Harry Potter world for us to be able to celebrate properly. So that is really, really cute. And I love that it's just so dinky as well. It's really, really small and quaint. So we have, I think this looks like a pencil case, a little Herbology pencil case. So I'm gonna take it out of its packaging. I love that stuff. I love it so much. The detail is amazing. So we've got a Herbology pencil case here which like for me now, if I'm going away, which I do a lot, I mean, I'm, I'm away in a couple of weeks again. So obviously with work, I do travel a lot. I would use this then for like my makeup pencils or my lipsticks or my makeup brushes and um, not necessarily my pencils and pencil case and use it as an actual pencil case. I would use it to put little things in there that I could just pop in my bag or like, I'm, I'm 43 you know I'm not exactly young and I do have to take a lot of tablets at the moment because my bloody age so even like my little tablet case that I can just put in my bag because my bag's huge so even something like that I would use that for but yeah that is really lovely but a pencil case absolutely that's what it's listed as but I can see loads of other potential things with this so oh I'm liking the feel of this one I am really liking the feel of this one so what is this can you see what it is before I can okay Okay, this looks like a bag, and I got a thing about bloody bags, right? I bloody love bags. I got the new, uh, the new bag by Mina Lima, and I just bloody love it. And I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but oh, this feels like a. It is a bag. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I freaking love it! Look at this. So everything from today is gonna go in this bag, all right? And it's got a lovely popper. Okay, I'm easily pleased, right? That's a magnetic metal popper. You know, that's not your cheap everyday bag, that isn't. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh yes. Freaking love it. Just, just talk about yourselves for a minute. Frick, oh my God, look at that. Oh, smells funny because it's new flux weed inside that's why it smells funny see it's got flux weed in it so that's flux weed inside it's got a little black black a little back pocket as well just there for you to put your little knickknacks in when you're traveling oh that is stunning that is absolutely stunning love it love it i've seen her with this bag on instagram and i was like oh my life that is stunning look at that i love the design the design and i'm not one for like co like comical kind of designs when it comes to harry potter i'm not a fan but when it comes to mandrakes you can't have them any other way because they are such comical things do you know what i mean they're such idiots but i love them oh herbology tote bag Oh, I absolutely 
love this bag so much that that is now my new bag for work because my one I was actually going to use the black family tapestry one but that's not wide enough for like my laptop this is padded enough for you to put your laptop in it's in a case anyway but this is like this is perfect for me to take to work absolutely perfect for me to take to work I love this so much so my next shift this will be the bag of choice so before we continue i will say though there is so much in this bag in this bag i'm obsessed with this freaking bag now i'm obsessed all right obsessed god damn it there is so much in this box so this is the next item so these are hog holidays at hogwarts bring the magic of the wizarding worlds to your window this set of harry potter window art clings includes over 30 pre-cut, removable and reusable window clings. Oh my God, look at that. I love this. Where was this at Christmas? I could have had so much fun. Four pages of holiday themed repositional window art. So let's open this and have a look. I've got more in there. So... I will show you the others in a minute, but we're going to have a quick look. So these are obviously reusable, repositional window displays. You could do a whole scene, couldn't you? We've got big windows. Oh, I'm so doing this next year. So doing this next year. How beautiful are they? Oh my God. Oh, wow. Look at the Hogwarts castle. Oh. <gasps> That is so pretty. Oh my life. I love it, love it, love it. You could have so much fun with them. Let's open the next one. Where the hell do I put this? <laughs> I've seen... Oh, i got a window upstairs. Oh, no, I, I know it's, it's a mirror. Oh, I'm going to have to think... I'm going to have to seriously think about this now because I've seen her with this on Instagram and it was absolutely... Oh, my God, I have to have it. It's the mermaid decal. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I can't... I've got to get it out. 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 I can't believe you've included this. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. So this is the mermaid one. Obviously, it's in sections. It is in sections. But there are lots of things that come with it. So there's the first part. I have a mirror upstairs that I'm not using for anything right now that's in my bedroom. I am very tempted to do this this afternoon. Yeah. And then put it on my wall somewhere because I've just, there was a knock at the door while I was filming and it's my new screw so I can put stuff up. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So there's the top. I have to seriously think about this, but I love, I can so put them in my bathroom window because I have golden eggs and stuff all over my bath bathroom, my bathroom, <laughs> my bathroom. So then there's the next part. I love the bubbles. They're so cute. You could put them over your, my glass shower door I may have to just rethink this properly re luckily you can rearrange it and stuff it's not like you put it on and that's it you can't move it and now my brain oh my god this is what my brain's like because I'm autistic my brain right my shelves behind which I showed you at the beginning of this video are white yeah so there's white there's white shelves behind you in the camera behind the camera with my Disney stuff on if that wasn't Disney I would put that entire middle take those shelves off the, the the actual shelves put the decal on the white on the back and then put the shelves back on oh my god i love that idea but i'm not doing it because i'll have nowhere for my disney stuff this is going to be really tough really really tough like proper tough now i may even think about putting it in my front in my harry potter room on the window because i have a really tall window watch this space that's what i'm like i'm really bad because i will get so excited about something and then i'll think no it'll look really great there no oh my god what if i put it there i am really bad so 
we've got more so we've got their golden egg there as well so these can all go on your window oh my god i'm so excited i am really really bad because i'm so creative that i can't like control it i'm really bad obviously these shelves for those of you who obviously who are new here these shelves behind me took five months to create they're just basically white shelves as you saw my disney ones that's all they were white shelves and i painted them over five months each shelf is a different scene from harry potter and then added light to them so that is what obviously is created here so you've got obviously newt scamander's suitcase inside there you've got the yule ball obviously well, there's ones there and ones there but then you've got the potions classroom there you've got the gringotts vault and a little home for my beautiful um, what did we call him Tyrone wasn't it? it was Tyrone we called him after you didn't we Ty uh, who gave me that one so he's my little my uh, my niffler in there so I literally have um, like my head is just crazy with ideas right so we've got a new one is this the end right so before I show you the last one we have a letter hi Victoria I'm so sorry it took me so long to get these products to you I have been absolutely crazy working on our promotions and product development Ooh, a very posh I have included your uh, our herbology lineup details below and a few other fun window clings and stickers in the herbology lineup you have the herbology planner now with a back pocket of course and four sticker sheets the 2024 herbology pocket planner which is the little one i showed you the first ever pocket planner what well, has full weekly spread for on the go planning they are available on amazon and target as well so that's really good to know herbology tote bag which i freaking love with a wand loop oh what no it has a wand loop it does indeed no freaking way there's a place for you to put your wand you've blown my mind love it love it love it that bag just gets better and better and better uh, perfect for tote for totting for totting planner supply uh, supplies and available on amazon on our website and amazon as well herbology pencil pouch made from recycled post consumer materials and available on our website and amazon fantastic also included latest harry potter window decals the clings are perfect for windows doors and mirrors so i will be trying that out later i won't read what that says because this one is also part of it which i'm about to show you now we can only ship to north america from our website due to our agreement with warner brothers which is fair enough but we do have an amazon shop that many international friends can order through so i will put that down below for you please let me know if you have any questions at all thanks so much for reaching out shelly you are so lush love you love you love you okay so the last item in the box I, w don't, I don't know where to put this, but you know it's one of those things that you just have to put. So it is a Hogwarts Castle vinyl, removable and reusable. So this is gonna have to go probably in my bedroom window if it fits, I don't know if it will. So let's have a look, shall we? Oh my God, I love it. You've got like little Buckbeak and Hedwig and everything flying around the castle. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so there's that one. You've got golden snitches, you've got pixies, you've got more Hogwarts Castle. <gasps> I love it. Oh my God, you've got Harry and, H and Hagrid, Thestrals, you've got the car, you've got me playing Quidditch. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, that is absolutely stunning. I think with these, if you're not sure about the size of them, put the middle measure, I mean, it should say on it how how big it is oh there we are then uh, 18 by 30 inches so obviously 30 is from side to side and 18 is from top to bottom so measure the area that you want to put it and then go from there it shows you what it looks like is in full there so that's what it looks like for the castle and then obviously everything else then is added extra but that's for the castle so best thing for you to do is measure the area that you want to pop it on and then go from there because i think 
if you just stick one on yes okay you if they're removable and that's great but then you're going to get yourself into a right tear swirl so make sure that the area is big enough for you to put it on first so my mirror in my bed my window in my bedroom is a lot is lower than the ones in here so this would be perfect for my mermaid one and then the ones upstairs then i'd probably be able to get the castle on as well but that is absolutely stunning I can't get enough of Conquest journals. They are the most amazing company for things like this, for their stationery, for their work. They are just outstanding. And they just do the most amazing TikTok and Instagram videos. You've got to have a look at their social media because they're brilliant. They're such big Harry Potter fans. They are just absolutely out of this world. I love them. This is the, is it the second, this is the third box I've had from you now, is it? I can't remember but I'm pretty sure this is the third box I've received from Conquest Journals and I've never been disappointed with any of their work because they are so fantastic and they are proper Harry Potter fans as well so you know that you're getting items that are produced by fans for fans so it's brilliant it's not just somebody that's doing this for money wise what they did which was always going to be my favorite was they produced a replica of the photo album from the from the Philosopher's Stone that Hagrid gives to Harry at the end of the film. Now it's not an exact replica because obviously they have to work within Warner Brothers guidelines and licensing. However, it is the closest official replica we are ever going to get, and it is absolutely stunning. It is beautiful. It's a, I think it's a scrapbook. I think it's over there. I think I can see the box from here. It is absolutely beautiful because I'm very particular how I look after my things this I took it out of the box to show you guys when I first did the unboxing video but I still have it in the box because I love it so much I'm too I when I'm a collector I'm a Harry Potter collector I've got like uh, almost 9,000 items in my collection I have been collecting for 23 years now and I like to keep things as they are originally and so something like this when we were after a replica of the note of the photo frame for so long and then conquest journal did one and they were very kind enough to send me it this is their replica and it is absolutely incredible so if you ever get a chance to pick one up i highly recommend you do so it is just to die for and the inside is so similar to the way it is in the film as well the detail of it is just incredible so I would, if you if you really like the note, uh, the, the the idea of having replicas and having items that possibly are usable, it is fully usable, but I chose not to use it because I, I want to keep it as it is. Then Conquest Journals are your company to go for because they are exquisite. You can tell I've given the cat cuddle. My nose is so itchy. Well, that is actually it from Conquest Journal for today. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on the items that they've produced. When it comes to mandrakes, everything is a winner. My favorite item has got to be the tote bag because that is literally, I'm gonna put the stuff in here and I'm gonna use it to, to use it for work. And I love how they've added something so simple as a little wand holster. I mean, that is just so Harry Potter. It's brilliant. But let me know in the comments below what did you think of these incredible items today. Until next time, take care. Remember, I love you all. Stay magical and I'll see you next week.
Want to check out more of my content? Take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.